So these are just a couple of things that we can do. Mm -hmm. Now, we haven't even gotten to your other meals. Yesterday, you were in the car for six hours, I guess, to get to Jacksonville. Mm -hmm. Did you do any exercise? Um, no, not yesterday. I, not I didn't, yesterday? But I have been. I've been okay. doing the exercise. What have you done? What I do is, my apartment complex is, is pretty big. Uh huh. And so, I, what I do is, instead of driving by and getting the mail, when I get home, I walk up to the mailboxes. Oh, that's excellent. How far away do you think it is? I don't know. You don't know? Okay, Maybe, but... I don't know. A half block. Good. And it's more than you used to do. Is that correct? Yeah. All right, so that's good. I think that that is an improvement. Now, what I'd like to suggest to you is as you get comfortable with that is to move it up. The more physical activity you do, the better your body is equipped. I only equipped. get mail once a day. That's the truth. So what do you think you can do? You have any idea? Um, I'm not sure. I mean, they've made these sidewalks in my neighborhood. You know. Is that something that you would enjoy doing? Maybe walking around? I don't mind doing the mail thing. Okay. So maybe I could. Maybe I could get out there. I got an idea. Yeah. You see this thing? This is a pedometer. Uh huh. Now this oh, pedometer. I see those. Oh, you see those? I love this thing. This has been my salvation. You take and you just, when you got, cut it out and you put it on your waist, and it counts how many steps. And so this way you can see how active you are in a day. And the best part about it is every day you, it'll produce a number. At the end of the day you write it down and you go, okay, I've done 2,000 steps today. And then the next day... That's a lot. Well, it seems like a lot of steps. But most people who work in an office actually probably do 3,000 steps in a day. Hmm. So you want to wear it every day. And whatever number it is at the end of the day, you want to do more the next day. So if you see that you have to get more steps, then you look for excuses to do that. You go to the bathroom more often, more often you go visit your colleague on the other side of the building more often, you take stairs instead of elevators. I find it to be very motivating. And I think this is something that you could do. And specifically, you want to get to 10,000 steps a day. That's a huge amount. But we're not asking you for 10,000 right now. We're asking you to take and see where you are and just do more every day. Okay. Think you can do that? Yeah, that'd be fun. Excellent. So there's three things we'd like you to do. One of them is to take the pills every day before breakfast and before dinner. And you don't have to worry about your bottoming out crash. or the crashing. That doesn't okay. happen with that. The second thing was the substitution of drinks. Now, I don't remember what we decided. You said Diet Coke. Diet Coke. Is that I'm something you're comfortable try. with that? I'm going to try. Okay. I think that's good. And you can use Diet Coke for all that. You can use water. Um, yeah, I don't mind water. Too and an occasional Gatorade isn't going to kill you. I don't like the Gatorade. I thought it was good for you. <laughs> if you don't like it, then cut it out. Don't worry about that. And then just use the pedometer. I think those three things will help to bring our hemoglobin A1C down. Now, I'm not expecting it to change overnight. And it doesn't. But little by little, as we make habits that we can keep, then over the long term, our A1C comes down. Bottom line is that diabetes loves forever. You're going to have it. But with these little steps, we can get it into better control and avoid the bad things. Sound like a good plan? I think I can do it. Good.